But right now, we want to welcome in Nathan Dom, the chairman of the Oklahoma Republican Party here. Thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you for having me. Always enjoy being on KOCO. Thank you. All right. So let's get to this first question here. Today is Election Day. There's a lot on the ballot. Can you talk about the party's pr priorities right now as we see so many people heading to vote today? Well, I mean, the main thing that we're uh, telling people is compare the last four years uh, to the four years under President Trump, comparing a Republican administration to a Democrat administration. Uh, if you go out and uh, purchase groceries, you've seen the difference uh, with cost of, you know, eggs being 60 to 70 percent higher over these last four years than they were under President Trump. Your grocery bill being higher, your energy bill being higher, uh, you know, over 30 percent higher uh, because of the policies of the Democrat Party and the Biden-Harris administration. So our pitch to Oklahomans is that we want you to keep more more money in your pockets. And that's not just at the national level, even though we've seen that with President Trump and what he was able to accomplish here at the state level. Just this year, Republicans eliminated the state uh, uh, grocery tax, uh, sales tax on groceries. And so that's something that we've done at the state level. So what we're saying is that we want Oklahomans uh, and people across the country, but specifically here in Oklahoma, to have more money in their own pockets, to have cheaper energy bills, to have cheaper grocery bills, just as we had four years ago. That's what we want to return to. So we're encouraging people to vote straight Republican Party when you go cast your ballot. Looking at the state level here, when it comes to uh, the GOP, when we're looking at those issues, inflation being the top one for you, is, is that correct? Yes. Okay, after inflation, what's coming after that when it comes to, what are we concerned about as the GOP party? Well, uh, deregulation is a part of that. Uh, when people have uh, less hurdles to get through to to create a business, to grow their business. More people will take the money that they're now saving because we've lowered inflation, because we've lowered the cost of energy, and they'll be able to put that into uh, hiring new people, to growing their business, to expanding those jobs, which is better for everyone. So it's absolutely the economy, but it's also about deregulation because that helps to grow the economy. So we want an environment where people can be innovators, where people like Elon Musk are not threatened with lawfare by the government because they are succeeding. I mean, Elon Elon Musk has done so many great things in the electric vehicle market, with SpaceX, with all these things, and now he's being threatened by the current administration because he's done these great things, and that's why he has joined uh, the unity ticket with Team Trump to say we shouldn't have a government that is threatening to harm people because they are exceeding and excelling in business. We should unleash American ingenuity. We should unleash Oklahoma energy, and that's what we want to accomplish. There are several state House and state Senate seats that are up for grabs this time around. Um, how important is it to win those seats and what will policies look like? How will this impact policy statewide? Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, quite a few of those races that are on the ballot. A lot of those were already settled in the primary elections, but here on the general election, we have uh, the opportunity for uh, to replace some of these Democrats that have policies out of alignment with the majority of, of Oklahomans to, with Republicans who do support the ideology of the majority of Oklahomans. Oklahomans are conservative. Oklahomans uh, support the Second Amendment. They want candidates that will support the Second Amendment, support free speech, uh, that will you know encourage that, whether it's on a campus or elsewhere. So we we are looking at the state level, even at the county level. It's important that people get out and vote. We've already seen record turnout, and that's great, but we need to make sure people are still getting to vote out on, on election day. Um, and I say the easiest way to vote is just select straight party uh, Republican, because that will make sure that you select the Republican from the president all the way down to your local county elections as well. And Oklahoma does have four U.S. House seats that are up for grabs. How important is it for the GOP to win those seats? Absolutely. We must maintain uh, the, the majorities that we have in the House of Representatives. When you look nationally, uh, Oklahoma is blessed because we have our entire delegation made up of Republicans. So we add to those totals. We need to, take, to make sure we maintain the House, take back the Senate, and win the presidency so that we can fully unleash American energy, as I've said, so that we can restore what uh, the vision was that President Trump uh, had for those previous four years that he served, so we can actually secure our borders. If we don't maintain the leads that we have in the House or gain more in the House of Representatives and then uh, gain back the Senate and have the presidency, we're looking at infinite op open borders with continued illegal immigrants coming in here, taking jobs from hardworking Americans and Oklahomans. And before I let you go here, what can Democrats that are watching right now expect from the GOP here in Oklahoma when it comes to working together no matter the outcome of the election tonight. 
Well, especially when you look at the federal level with President Trump and the unity ticket that he has created, right? He has, you know, RFK Jr. The, the Kennedy family has been, you know, the leading Democrat family for, for decades. Uh, he has uh, Elon Musk, a former Democrat. I mean, even President Trump was a Democrat, you know, a long time ago. So we have a lot of these, these Democrats with Tulsi Gabbard coming on board that have said the Democrat Party is so far out of alignment with what the majority of Americans want and especially what the majority of Oklahomans want that we have this unity ticket. So here in Oklahoma, uh, we're going to continue to represent uh, Oklahoma values, conservative values, constitutional values as the Republican Party. We encourage independents, libertarians, Democrats to come on board. Uh, the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire just endorsed President Trump yesterday. So we're seeing this coalition of people from across the country understanding what it means to make America great again, to, uh, to come together looking for the future, for, for future generations. And so we just encourage you, vote Republican, join us. We want to empower you to grow your family, to grow your business, to get government out of your affairs, and especially to keep more money in your own pockets. Nathan Dom, chairman of the Oklahoma Republican Party, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us this morning.